I'm working on an epic poem about a hopelessly romantic apostate, waging an epic struggle against forces he can't possibly defeat. What do you mean, can't possibly defeat? Well, it's not a good story unless the hero dies. You! Ah, brotherly love. It's quite something, don't you think? Sure is something. Especially when little brother makes promises I can't keep. Bartrand, so suspicious. I have, in fact, brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nug-humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. So we're partners? That depends. You got the coin we need? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. That seems like a lot for an expedition. We're going lower into the deep roads than anyone's ever dared. Who knows what we'll find down there? Well, that means food and equipment and hirelings. None of that comes bloody cheap. I will get the coin, I promise. And how about you tell me when that happens? Until then, you're not much of a partner. Relax, Bartrand. Have I ever let you down? You don't want me to answer that. Found your mystical hoard of coin yet, human? The coin should be delivered to you shortly. You're joking. What did I tell you, Bartrand? Not bad for a human. All right, partner. Full share of the profit between you, me, and Varric. Now we just need a decent entrance into the deep roads. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three? Four entrances into the deep roads, all in the free marches? Where'd you get these? A wizard did it. Well, color me astounded. We just pick the most promising one, and go! Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks, at least. Let me know as soon as you're ready, and we'll head out. So are you ready? It's a long trek. If you have any business you need to wrap up here, you'd better do it now. I'm ready. Let's get started. And let's not waste any more time. We've chosen one of the hidden entrances. The deep roads there will be nice and virginal, ready for a good deflowering. Ha! <laughs> now there's an interesting image. It'll take a week for us to get to the depth we need. There are bound to be leftover darkspawn from the Blight. Big risks, big rewards. We shouldn't be taking any needless risks. This isn't a foolish endeavor. This will work. Now, before... Wait! Who invited the old woman? I'm sorry to interrupt, Sir Dwarf. But I need to speak with my children. Mother! I told you not to get involved with this. I just want to know one thing. Are you planning on taking Bethany with you? I hadn't decided yet. Mother, I'll be fine. I want to go. It's not fine. You can't both go. What if something will happen to you? You, I understand, wanting to do this. But leave your sister here, I beg you. It's the Templars or the Darkspawn, Mother. At least I'm allowed to fight Darkspawn. Well, you're not gonna be able to take everyone anyhow. You'll need to decide. Bethany, I beg you. Don't go. Don't do this. 
I'll be fine, Mother, I promise. This will work out for the best. You'll see. Personal drama over with? Now let's get underway. Been a long time coming, eh, brother? That it has. The deep roads await! No, this can't be right. The Champion and his apostate sister came to Kirkwall to spread subversion against the Chantry. But you claim this wasn't the case. The Champion just happened to have dealings with the Canari, joined forces with a known raider, a blood mage, a rebel warden, and for what? Coin? Maybe it's not as simple as you imagine, Seeker. Simple? Do I need to remind you what your friend did? Do I need to tell you how many lives have been lost? How many more will be lost? You cannot sit there and tell me he is innocent. I don't know if innocent is the right word exactly. He must have known. Somehow the champion knew what was down there. That's why he wanted to join your expedition. No. None of us knew. If we had... He wouldn't have let his sister step foot into that blighted hole. Is that so? Then tell me your version of what happened on this expedition. Well, we entered the deep roads as planned, but we didn't get very far. There's been a collapse. The way forward is blocked. What? Is there some way around? Not that I've been able to find. The side passages are too dangerous. Useless! What am I paying you blighters for? Shit camp! Problems, brother? Starting deep roads. Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path. Shall we not try to find a way around instead? Seems like the logical choice. You think I'm an idiot, Farrakh? The scouts say the side passages are too dangerous. We need to do something. Sitting out here in the open is just as dangerous. We'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put was the right decision. Fine, fine! Find a way around. Just do it quickly. This is why I left the Wardens. I hate the blighted deep roads. Ah, I hate to add to your burdens, my friends, but I fear I must. I fear my boy Sandal wandered off. He's somewhere in those passages right now. I beg you, keep an eye out for him. He just doesn't understand danger like he should. One man out there alone. What are his chances? My boy is sturdier than you think. If he has one of his enchantments with him, he'll survive. He's burned down a house twice by accident. I'm more worried about him getting lost. Oh, my poor boy. When did you last see him? Not a half hour ago, I turned my back to hand out rations and he was gone. He gets so easily distracted. Ow. Oh, I should have been harsher with my warnings. We need to search the side passages. We'll bring him back if we can. Poor Sandal. I can't believe he's done this. Let's move quickly then.
Find Bodon's boy if you can. I have to get these blighters.
Well, I'll be a Nug's uncle. Isn't that Bodan's boy? Hello? He survived this entire time. I'd really like to know how you managed to kill all of them. Boom! And how did you do that? Not enchantment. Smart boy. Come on. We still need to find a way past that collapse.
should do it. I don't like the looks of this. All set. Trap. Done. That should do it. I don't like the looks of this. All set. This goes right where we want it to. Let's go back and tell Bartrand. He'll be so pleased. Bartrand! We found a way around your damned cave-in. It's about time. Let's move out! Is this what you were expecting? I thought. An abandoned dying, something old, but... What is this? How did you even know it was here? Old scavenger tales. 
after the third blight. A week below the surface, they said. But nobody believed them. Looks like they were right. Make camp here! We need to look around. Get it. Nothing in this tide makes sense. Why's that? We're well below the deep roads. Whatever dwarves lived here, they came long before the first blight. But where are the statues of Paragons? I don't recognize these markings on the wall, or anything in the rubble. Whatever's here must be very rare and valuable. Hmm. Possibly. These dwarves might have been unique. If so, I hope they kept their valuables close at hand. This place is supposed to be something special. What's so special about this place? Looks like the rest of the deep roads to me. Hmm. Whatever's through there, it seems still intact. Think we'll find anything? Bartrand is far more enthralled with this place than you are. Unlike him, I wasn't born in Orzammar. I wouldn't even be down here if there wasn't profit in it. This entire place gives me the chills. Let's hope it's worth it. Chances are we won't find anything but even more darkspawn and rubble. Maybe bones? Hmm. I suppose we'll need to go down there to find out.